Hi, my name is India Owens, and I graduated from the Michigan State University College of Music in 2015. Life in Detroit growing up was challenging, but it was also beautiful. Every time I went outside, I would hear community. So I would hear people dancing, I would hear music. I taught myself how to play the bass. Um, my technique was all over the place, but I always executed the music really well. My bass didn't have wheels, so I would walk for miles with my bass to make it to rehearsals. Just taking the bass, having the bass on my backpack, just going. <laughs> and, and it was because my mom would make me as well. Like She would be like, okay, you're not gonna let this talent go to waste. Actually, I met Rodney when I was 15 years old at the Detroit School of Arts. He came with another instructor from MSU, Diego Rivera, and they were doing a live concert. And then I remember Rodney just walked on stage and he did a solo bass feature. That was the first time that I heard a bassist play live. And I just remember myself on the sidelines in full tears, like, this is so beautiful. I've never heard anything like it. And everyone was looking at me like, um, <laughs> what was happening? But it was something that happened in that moment that gave me so much hope because Rodney is also from Detroit. You know, he's a bass player. I was like, oh my gosh, I can do this too. Michigan State was the only college that I applied to because I wanted to be taught by Rodney that bad. Without me having a full ride scholarship for all of the years I was at MSU, I wouldn't have been able to afford to actually go to college. I probably would have stopped playing music and I, I don't know, I don't know what, what would have happened. So to the donors and to everyone that supports students like me, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have changed my life tremendously. That one moment, that letter that I saw, where I saw all my college tuition was covered. Like my mother and I, we just cried for days. Like we were so happy and we're still so happy. So thank you for changing so many lives. Like even here in New York, people say all the time, like, I don't know what Ronnie is doing over at Michigan State, but all of you come to New York and just crush it and take all the gigs. <laughs> the community cookout is probably the one thing that I will be the most proud of in my life. I saw a lot of people just lose their jobs. As you know, musicians across the board, they lost all gigs all the touring, everything. So I said, okay, I'm one of the people that are still working. So let me uh, figure out what I can do. I can feed people. So my first community cookout was on 125th between Lexington and Park. And I was so moved by it, I decided to make this a monthly event that distributes over 200 meals per event, plus a free music concert. It also gives musicians work. I, I feel like that's what life is about. If you have the resources and if you're blessed enough to share with people, it's your duty to do so. To the young Spartan, it does not matter where you come from. All that matters is if you believe in yourself, you have to believe in yourself 100% that what you are doing has a purpose. You have to hold strong to that belief and you'll be okay. And work hard. <laughs>